Okay. So how does proposal work? Keep in mind when you have a contract, you always have two people. You have A, you have B, or you also have C. It depends what kind of contract you have. But let's say A and B, when you have a contract, they both agree on the rules in a contract, right? So they both agree on the rules in a contract and they accept them. Then you have a contract. But most time in real life, you will see one party, let's say A, offer a proposal. A proposal can be anything. And in the proposal, they put the terms in it. Like, hey, I'm going to do this for you, but you need to pay me this much. B has some option. Option number one, B can say, okay, I agree. Yeah. B also has the option. Number two, I disagree. Like, no, I don't like it. I want a new one. Yeah. Or B also have another option. Number three, say, hey, I don't like it. Can you change this and this? So change. So we have an agree, disagree, or change. When B agree with the contract again, or at the beginning, then they have a contract. So A offer the proposal. B say, hi, I agree. Then you have a contract. A offer proposal and B say, no, I disagree. I don't want it. Then you don't have a contract because B doesn't sign it. And let's say A offer proposal, but B say, hey, I want you to change this and that's, then I will sign it. After this change, after they made a change and A agree with it, then you have a contract. So you only have a contract when B agree. So if you're a company, how do you handle this in real life? Keep in mind when, um, when someone gives you a request, or send your request in order to get a quote. Um, it's important for you to figure out. Okay, let's say B um, B sent a uh, request for an, um, for a proposal or a quote. It's important for A to think about. Okay, what are the general requirements of B? What are the needs from B? And it's important to talk with them. It's also important to see. Okay. When, um, if I'm going to do this project, these, are, these things are important. We need to go to these goals or we need to um, work towards certain kind of goals. Yeah. And how big is the project? Yeah. Try to talk about it as much as possible because you need to put all those information into the quote. Yeah. And think about, okay. When I'm going to start, how long is it going to take me to finish it? All those things you can put it in the quote. And sometimes some company requests some information about your staff, what are the qualification and all the stuff. You can also put it in it, but I don't think it's necessary only if they request it. But most of companies do not request it. They just look at previous work. And then the cost, how much it's going to cost. Try to be as detailed as possible. Put a lot of details in it. Don't be like name a number and do not explain that number. Because most of the time B will be like, I don't know about that. I'm going to look for someone else, more professional. Yeah. And if the information that B needs to know, you can also provide them that information. So they'll be like, okay, yeah, you are reliable. We can trust you. So we're going to go with you. That's something you need to keep in mind. Keep in mind also that um, sometimes you have people like B, they sent you a request for quote and they sent that quote to another person and asked for the price. Those people are looking for the cheapest option. Don't be afraid of that. Think about it. It's your services. It's Those are your products. If they want it cheap, they want it cheap. But if they um, are not willing to pay your price, don't... Uh, don't put too much energy in it in order to create it because it's not worth it. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's the thing. When you have a um, request, look out for these things. This checklist you can download it on the Discord. And if you have question about it, what you can do is just go to martis.legal. Just go to martis.bo.link, and there you can go to the law center, and the law center you can ask a question there about this.